Good evening, I'm Mitch Baldwin. And I'm Eileen Mary O'Connell. Here's tonight's top story. Water use in California last month was cut by 22%. So the Golden State celebrated the only way we know how with a wet t-shirt contest. <laughs> this week, New Jersey Governor Chris Christie went on a trip to London. And London Bridge finally fell down. <laughs> victory, Bill Belichick raised eyebrows for kissing his 30-year-old daughter, commented Belichick. I didn't know it was her. I thought it was Tom Brady. <laughs> According to a 2008 study from the Pentagon, Vladimir Putin has Asperger's syndrome, which means he's also bad at invading the conversation. <laughs> Adnan Saeed, the convict fi featured in the podcast Serial, won a motion to appeal his conviction, commented an NPR listener. Between this and the new Harper Lee novel, I can barely contain my excitement. <laughs> Thrilling. A new smartphone app can diagnose syphilis within 15 minutes. Which is great news for anyone hooking up with Kesha. <laughs> and now, we're Hard News Meets Hollywood. Here with the entertainment news is Ashton Kutcher. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Lady Gaga is recording music with Paul McCartney. McCartney said he wants to record I Am The Walrus, and Lady Gaga said she wants to wear a walrus. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Justin Bieber berated two 12-year-old girls after they broke onto his estate. No one had the heart to tell him that he was just yelling at two mirrors. <laughs> That's not nice. I've had people make fun of me because I'm attractive. I can't help it. I'm handsome. <laughs> Jack White will no longer perform at the University of Oklahoma after they published his recipe for guacamole. Said Jack White. Now no one can have my guacamole. I made enough for a seven nation army. Well, I tried some and it was delicious. Johnny Depp and actress Amber Heard got married this weekend. To keep the ceremony private, it was held in a theater showing Mordecai. <laughs> Her! <laughs> Finally, the Grammys took place earlier this evening. It was attended by some of the most talented musicians working today, and John Mayer. <laughs> I'm on fire! <laughs> According to a new study, teenagers who spend too much time in front of an electronic screen are prone to restless sleep. Commented a teenager. It's like a serious issue. I'm so sleep deprived that I cannot have time for cyberbullying. <laughs> a new study shows that people who jog too much are just as unhealthy as people who don't jog at all. Just like how people who hike too much are annoying friends. <laughs> On Thursday, Charles Manson's marriage license expired, meaning there will be no immediate wedding for the convicted madman. So, listen up, ladies. You still have a shot. <laughs> Keep your seat dry. Oh, I can't. Uh, Staples is buying Office Depot for $6.5 million, but not before stopping by the register to get some candy. <laughs> An inmate who was being transferred from Florida to Indiana escaped when officers responsible for him pulled over to go to Pizza Hut, <laughs> commented one of the officers. We believe that the inmate is hiding still within a 10 mile zone. <laughs> According to a study, singing show tunes can help fight off dementia. Just how it used to help fight off me getting a prom date. <laughs> and police in New York found a bag at a bus station containing 1,000 condoms. When reached for comment, the bag said that it feels so much better without them. 